And I would say really a massive failure if things do not turn around here. And this has turned out to be a pretty competitive division. All right, Justin. So let's move right along here, going to the central division in the Eastern Conference. Last season, just for context, the Bucks number one with 49 wins, the Cleveland Cavaliers number two with 48 wins, and the Pacers in third with 47 wins. So very, very close competition there in the central division. And fourth, your Chicago Bulls, not that far behind, really. I mean, eight games back on paper, but also 39 wins to the 47 wins of the the Pacers. And considering everything going on in Chicago last year, I, I actually find that to be pretty impressive. Yeah. And then way, way down at the bottom, 25 games behind the Bulls. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to rub it in, Pistons fans, but but you're down there with 14 wins. We know how the season went last year. Justin, if if you'll do me the honor, yeah. go ahead, lead off with your fifth place pick for the Central Division in this 2024-2025 upcoming season. As bad as I feel about the Chicago Bulls and my unhappiness with them, I'm not picking them to finish last. (laughs) Okay. Um, I thought you were going somewhere different. (laughs) No. I I am picking the Pistons. I just think they're still atrocious. I just don't. I think they have actually a lot of potential, but I just think they just need a total real. And I would say this is a fail, really a massive failure um, if things do not turn around here. And this has turned out to be a pretty competitive division. So I would say unless the Bulls go through a complete rebuild in which I think their management are not really committed to. I mean, granted, they traded DeMar DeRozan and even if Zach Levine leaves, I mean, there's, they still have high hopes for Lonzo Ball. I think Lonzo Ball, I think Josh Giddy is overrated, but I think Kobe White is not. Um, mm. I like Patrick Williams and you have um, Vucevic there. That's a decent team. Now, is is that a team that's going to make any noise in the playoffs? No, but is that a team that's going to finish last? No, either. So um, at the moment, I'm going to stick with the Pistons being kind of at the bottom there. Right on. I also have the Pistons in fifth. Next question, I guess, would be, do you have the Bulls in fourth? I do. <laughs> um, All right. We're in agreement there. Do yeah. you think their record gets worse than 39 wins from last year with DeMar DeRozan leaving to the Kings? It's tough to say. I really like DeMar DeRozan with the Bulls. However, I do feel like with what we're seeing with Lonzo Ball, he changed the complexion of the offense. And if he's going to have any type of long-term playing time, I do think that it adds some wins compared to DeMar. Now, am I saying they're going to win like 45 or 50 games? No. But you add a couple of games in there, sure. Um, I could see that. So I would say over 39, barely, but not enough to really work their way into the top three teams in the in the division. Interesting. Yeah, I guess we'll see how Josh Giddy does. I, I'm definitely predicting them to be probably under 35 wins, I that would say. Uh, also, I guess a lot depends on how Vucevic looks and if, if they do deal Vucevic. We also got to have that domino fall with Zach Levine or yeah. keeping him, moving yeah. him. A lot in flux there for sure. But they also keep in mind, for those of you maybe who have been under a rock, they they are losing Caruso as well. He will yeah. be on the Thunder, who we'll talk about later. So, so far we're in total agreement here, other than maybe the win total for the Bulls. Pistons fifth, Bulls fourth. Who do you have in third place here? Yeah, um, this is really tough, but I got the Cavaliers. I'm just not a believer in this team. Um, I think Darius Garland has been a pretty much a disappointment. Um, I, I love Donovan Mitchell. I think he's an underrated guard in this league. Um, but I, I really thought that was going to be a great backcourt combination. It's not. Um, and I think with just the competition here, I don't know if they're going to struggle, but I just seeing Indiana really took, I think, a big step despite their talent. And I just think with the Bucks, with just Giannis and you know, you know Dame Dollar there, um, I just think that's a, that they're not going to overtake them either. So at the Cavaliers third, I'm just not a believer in them. I think just the Pacers play harder, um, and I think they have just more grit. And barring any injury, I, I think they will switch places, in my opinion. 
Yeah, I'm with you here. I have the Cavs in third as well. I think they're going to win less than the 48 games they won last season. Mm -hmm. There could be a case now where this team has been together for a while. They had that close series with Orlando in the playoffs. And also, there's more question marks here. Like, I think more pieces in flux, potentially. You mentioned Darius Garland. He he was in a lot of trade rumors in the offseason. Does anything with that come to fruition? How much more is Evan Mobley going to progress in his development as well as a power forward? Is, is he going to develop a consistent outside shot to spread the floor for them? I'm not sold on Cleveland either, and I do have the Pacers leapfrogging them. I have the Pacers in second, so I guess the question I would pose to you, do you have the Pacers in second, or do we have a new predicted <laughs> Central Division champion from one of us? Nah, I'm going to be boring. I got the Pacers in second. Um, not much to add. I, I really was, despite how they fizzled out, um, impressed with this the, the Pacers' grit there. Um, and really, you know, reunite, reuniting this rivalry, they're in a different division, but with the Knicks. And I think that's going to carry dividends through the, the rest of the season as well. So I got them second place. I also, yeah, I have the Pacers in second, which means you and I agree that the Bucks will repeat as champions here. I have to say... I'm very nervous about that prediction. I mm. do see a scenario where the Pacers could leapfrog them as it was so close last oh, wow. season. Yeah. Damian Lillard had kind of the year from hell last season, which he did in his personal life and and with recovering from past injuries he had sustained in Portland, didn't really get an off season last season allegedly, you know, you've probably seen video footage of him working with David Goggins and things like that. Yeah. I, I'm kind of Leaning on Damian Lillard having a better season and maybe this team gelling a little bit more. Doc Rivers does not inspire a lot of confidence in me when it comes playoff time, but he has had a lot of good regular season teams. So I'm still, and, and plus the biggest factor here is that they have Giannis. And if he's healthy through much of the regular season, then whatever team you are, <laughs> you have a great chance of having a great record. So that's still the number one factor it has to be on anyone's radar there. Let us know in the comments if you guys agree, disagree with our standings. Maybe people out there think the Cavaliers are going to make a big jump this year, having Donovan Mitchell uh, signed to that extension now. Maybe you guys are seeing things differently. We'd love to know your perspective. Give us your one through five for the Central Division. 